Introduction to String Arranging looks at making string parts from a chord sequence. The video got loads of feedback, including this comment, which rightly points out that working with chords is only the start of the story. There are other things an arranger needs to consider. So, in String Arranging Part 2, I want to go beyond working with chords to see how to write strings around other instruments and melodies. The song I'm using is Esme You I See by Solstice. It has piano and vocal parts and I'll work through the intro, first verse and chorus. To add anything to the arrangement I need to get inside the music to know the notes and every emotional twist and turn. Some musicians can retain that depth of information in their head but I like to transcribe it so I can see clearly what's already there and understand how it works. And with this I have a better idea about not just the chord sequence, but the passing notes, the shape of the melodies, the spaces, the dynamics, lots of details. With a mixture of pencil and paper and sequencer, I start sketching lines. Like anyone creating something, much of what you do is instinctive, but I'm going to try to justify all my choices here. The intro, four bars, two chords looped, C minor 9 and G minor over a B flat. Plenty of pop is made from looping chords, but a string arrangement can give flow and shape to the music by transcending the loops. So I want to make a four bar phrase. Creep in, build up, fade out. I creep in with just three notes, picking out the root, fifth and ninth of the C minor 9 chord. The piano texture is sparse, so I'll support that with an open sounding chord. And as the chord changes to G minor over B flat, I only have to change one note to fit in. Middle of my four bar phrase is the beginning of the third bar, and I grow into this with a rising cello line one beat before. Having started with high-ish strings, the low cello entry gives some weight and warmth. Violins are still on the same couple of notes, like a neat straight line gluing the intro together. Another way to warm up that third bar is to fill out the chord. Viola puts the minor third in and a little bit of melody. No significant movement in bar four, apart from the drop from G to F in violin two. This is just because that G minor over B flat chord is a little ambiguous. It becomes a B flat chord halfway through the bar. The verse is eight bars, still the same two looping chords with four short vocal phrases over them. Again, I can detract from the looping by writing across the loops. At the end of the intro, I'm out. Space is good. It forces us to listen to the first entry of the main event, the vocal. I let that first vocal statement clear and come back in on the upbeat to the next bar, where the piano line is driving the music back to the C minor chord. The move from D to E flat in the violins is just so the strings support the same note in the vocal, but it also makes for a nice rising line. Last piece of the second loop, a bit of cello movement pulls us into the next chord, and as there's a space in the vocal phrase, I pop in some melody in the viola. Bar 10 and the vocal hits a C, an added or suspended note in that G minor chord, so I simply keep out of the way and just support the resolve back up to D. Reaching the end of the verse now, and I want to help the feel warm up ready for the chorus. So my lines include the E flat, the third of the chord of C minor, and they rise in pitch and dynamic. Last bar of the verse, it's a unison B flat. Less is more simple but strong. And that leads us into the chorus. The feel here is more fluent and full, so the strings support this. Rich, sustained chords and a broad melody in the violins that picks out some of the main notes of the vocal. 
final two bars of the chorus are new chords and between the vocal and piano there are some jazzy moves going on so I don't feel the strings need to colour these bits of harmony anymore so I keep it simple here. There's a repeat of the intro before verse 2. Strings should provide development in an arrangement so I avoid straight repeats. But it's still the same feel of the intro, creep in, grow to the middle, fade out. Put it all together and it goes like this. Es mejor así. Eso 